Benching over 200 pounds, you're squatting 380. How do you do it? I, I, uh, I can't do either of those things. Yeah. <laughs> God given strength. <laughs> yes, I've won about 19 um, championships, both uh, state, national, and and uh, world championships. And um, I started when I was 65. Never did any any uh, workout before that. I started when I was 65, had a birthday party one day, and my trainer uh, came with his wife. I, I was uh, friends with his wife, and they came, and he convinced me of going into uh, training. And I said, okay, I go because my legs are getting tired, and I'm 65 years old, and I don't want to go out and then, uh, in a wheelchair. So uh, I started, the first day I started, I went and I did a broomstick. That's what he had me to bench with. And I went home that night, and the next morning when I woke up, I said, I'm not going back. I said, that is too much. And I heard this voice in the back of my head, and that was the Holy Spirit, telling me, go back. And so I said, well, must be a guy given thing. So I went back, and here I am today, uh, benching and squatting and doing all these tournaments each and every uh, month. Well, that's quite a journey. I mean, you started just simply lifting up a broomstick, and now you're benching the weights we're talking about? Yes. Yes. I'm benching my uh, uh, top uh, squat was 410, 420 rep, and 380 for uh, deadlift, and uh, about 200 for bench. That's my record. How much time are you spending now working out each day? Uh, well, each day I spend anywhere between uh, an hour to maybe three hours uh, a day, uh, but I only go three days a week. So you do three days a week, you're in there for a few hours, and, uh, and, and t talk about what it feels like uh, to be pushing that kind of pounds on your bones, on your body. Well, my body feels good, okay? I feel good. I can just about do a lot of things now uh, that I was not able to do. I, um, I get home and feel like when I finish squatting, I can run <laughs> and jump and do a lot of things that I was not able to do. And I am healthy. Uh, I'm not on any medication or anything like that. So I really feel good at my age, which is 78 years old. You feel good, you look good. I mean, I think about my own parents and, and they have a, a little gym, but never go down there. What do you have, what advice do you have uh, to folks uh, who are trying to make the most of their retirement years, trying to stay healthy and fit, how do they follow in your footsteps? Well, one thing they can do is start walking. Uh, walking is the best thing because that pumps the heart. And walking and eating right and feeling good. And you can, it's a mind over matter. You just have to be consistent. And I was consistent from day one. How, how important was it to have someone else kind of pushing you? Oh, my trainer is the best, and <laughs> he knows every time I pull something, give me another 10 pounds to do, and I'm crazy to do it, but I do it, so that, that's what got me up to this point. And, and where, where do you live? Where are you from? I'm, I live in Michigan, and I'm born and raised here in Michigan. And can you talk a little bit about your life story? Tell me your story. Well, I started out as a realtor. A friend of mine got me into real estate. And I was in real estate for about uh, 18 years. And um, I got tired of walking up in the real estate. And that's when I started to uh, train. But uh, I was a realtor for about 18 years. And... Uh, 
I guess I got burnout. So I said, well, let me try something else. So I was just sitting at home, and I said, well, 65, you're going to get old. <laughs> so you better do something. That's when I started training. That is incredible. Is your trainer there with you now? All right. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, Nor Nora was talking about what an incredible inspiration and force you've been in terms of helping her pursue this dream of weightlifting. Can you talk about kind of just some of the words of advice you gave her uh, as she was getting back into shape? Yes, sir. Uh, what I did was, when Nora came to me, I'm a personal trainer and strength coach. So when she came to me, she wanted to lose weight, and she was about 70 pounds heavier than she is now. And she started losing weight, and then she saw us getting ready for meets and asked me, would she be able to compete? I said, sure. So I started training her, and the rest is history. <laughs> Without a doubt. It's just incredible. I mean, and to see these Instagram uh, videos, the, the moment, the strength, and, and uh, what advice do you have to others who are trying to follow in our footsteps? What I did was, the way I trained most of my clients was the power is or not. I strength trained them, and she was already ready to go for power lifting. And all we had to do was give her the contest. Oh, yeah. Well, she's an inspiration to all of us, but a lot of the people come in here and they see her lift, and they give them, and she gives them inspiration, and they continue on. Because they say she can do it, I can do it, and that's what that's our philosophy. Yeah, they might think they can do it, but then they realize they can't. There's got to be a lot of young people who are going in there. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Okay, I was going to do a good one. All right, perfect. That's great for okay. me. Jeez. Pretty that impressive. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. That, that was a small bit. No, but you got the perfect form, you, uh, and you do it three days a week. You're out there getting swole. I'm very jealous uh, and hope to be like you someday, someday. <laughs> you will be. You just have to be consistent. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for sharing your story.